ya! Hey, hey, everybody. Weird time of the night for me to post. I know, I know. Um, and I can't find my glasses. It's been one of those days where I'm like, yeah, it, it's fine. Y'all can just see my eyes for real. So, um, you guys know I always share from a space of like learning and, and things that I experience because I know that it's always, there's always someone on here that sees it that really needs to benefit from it. So, hey Tracy, so I always jump on here and try and share bits that I uh, experience myself or those around me experience. And what I actually noticed today was legitimately, hey Hayden, hey Freddie, legitimately I had um, a bunch of friends I'd spoken to in the afternoon who were all experiencing the same thing. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to quickly create something because I love to share and I love, I love to inspire in any way and it, everything I share about is always a lesson so don't think that I'm still sitting in the pain. I've processed it and I've just understood certain elements of it and that's why I share. So legitimately I had one of these days where I was like I haven't got enough arms, I haven't got enough legs, I haven't got enough breaths, I just can't do it all and the snorkel is just going underwater and I was like ah how am I going to do this and so like when you're a multifaceted, multi-passionate kind of person, you're always juggling a lot of things. Like you legitimately are. You feel like you are an octopus with not enough tentacles. And I get in life in today's society, all of us are. Like there's always elements of our life where we are totally in this zone and we just, all we can do is put our head down and try and swim through it and hope to God there's a breath of fresh air at the other end of it. And I get that. We all do that. So I know there's a long post to this and it's actually really factual so I wanted to quickly create like a little video just to go deeper into the emotion and the feelings because like if I was to write it all y'all would be like fuck. So here we go. So um, when we're getting into this state what I've noticed is that I can totally, there's days where I'm like dig down, just get through it, breathe at the other side, hope to God that I've got enough lung capacity to take the breath. Then there are other days where I'm like you know what I'm going to grab it all, I'm going to throw it in the air and it can all just stuff it I don't care and we are human I am human like no judgment no thoughts or feelings on that other than just witnessing the fact that every day is different but what I've noticed is that there's such a choice for us to make and it's like this growing adult sort of a thing it's like we 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 become a, a an adolescent a baby go through the walking our toddler phases um and all the way through yada yada every point we grow, it's like this really horrible feeling, like it's this icky, icky expansion, like it's like, and I've shown this in the post, is like, it's like the lobster, the lobster coming out of its shell, you do realise that lobsters aren't born or created, hatched um, in the large shape that they are, they have to grow into that, but they're in a really freaking hard shell, have you ever sat there and thought about the lobster and how the hell it comes out of that shell? How the hell does a lobster grow when it's in a rigid shell? It only has so much capacity to shift. But what happens is the lobster is the living organism within the shell. And it gets, grows and grows and grows. And it gets to this certain point where it's like, yo, this is uncomfortable. This is so uncomfortable. I can't breathe. This is so uncomfortable. I'm getting like anxiety. Holy crap. And what they do is they take themselves under a rock. This is me being a lobster. Um, and they force themselves under pressure to crack their own shell. And they come out. And that process of shedding their shell is freaking uncomfortable. Can you imagine trying to pull each of their little tentacle thingies, little claws? I'm great at this. Pulling it out of that rigid shell and then trying to scamper away in this totally vulnerable, totally like y'all can get eaten in a heartbeat. You could turn its head too quickly and snap its own neck sort of stuff. Well, that's pretty violent. Anyway. So the lobster is one of these amazing creatures that is like a human. It realizes that it has to get to a certain point of pressure and uncomfortableness where it then finally hits that point where it goes, enough, and cracks its own shell to come out and go through a really hard, uncomfortable process to evolutionize, to grow, to shed, to move on. And we are exactly the same. And I used to do this and I would fight it. And I know a lot of my friends fight it. Thanks for the feedback, guys. Um, are you, is anybody else resonating with this? Like, give me a, an emoji or something like that if you're like, oh, crap, yeah, that's me. You know, we go through these processes and we're like, ah, it is hard and heavy. And I just feel resentment. I feel overwhelmed. I feel um, like I just want to give up. Like, is it really worth it? All these things come up. What I've had to learn to practice every day, and we are human, and we do have to practice these things every day, 
is that I get to choose the perspective that I take in this. And it's always when I close up shop and I'm heading home and I'm getting out of the position that I was in and I'm changing my state. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Nikita. And I'm moving into a new position, which is normally driving home, where I get this whole reflection moment and I go, oh, okay, all that stuff happened and it was hard and it was horrible. But isn't it interesting if I just take a big ass deep breath in the uncomfortable point of where I'm frustrated, I want to cry sometimes, like I'm human, I'm a human messiness person. And I realize that, gee, I had to go through that really uncomfortable stuff to realize there are things that I need to just do to evolutionize and come into the next part of me. So it might be learning new skills, new systems, new practices, new budgeting, new accounting, whatever it is. There are so many things um, that we need to crack and break through. And if we get stuck in the drama of it and we get stuck in the horrible feeling of it, we become a victim. But there's a point where you actually get to look at it and go, man, if that didn't happen, I wouldn't have learned these new systems. I wouldn't have realized that I actually have more capacity than I thought I did. Hmm. And it's really cool when you get to just relax into that and go, yeah, that was a shit day. That was a really hard day. But now I know how that system works better. But now I understand that I did that wrong before. And now I get to learn how to do that better. Does that make sense? Give me a high five if that makes sense. Freddie's saying you cracked your shell this week, taking a break from it all. Yeah, and doing way too much. And this is what's coming up for a lot of my clients and a lot of people in my tribe is that we're all realizing that a lot of us are reaching outside of ourselves and trying to find someone else's thing, someone else's program, someone else's perspective, so another thing, another thing, another thing, another thing to help fix us, to help hold us together, to help our message, to whatever it is. The truth is, and the thing that keeps coming up for every one of you is I know enough, I have enough, I be enough, I do enough. I just need to do a bit more and be consistent. I just need to do a bit more and stick with this. Ah, <sighs> you know what? I get through that icky hard part and I feel really vulnerable for a bit and suddenly things just start to work. You know, that three foot from gold kind of story. If you haven't heard that, let me know, you know three foot from gold actually if you have if you, if you guys have heard of the story of the three foot from gold give me a three foot from gold in the comments pop a comment in there three foot from gold because that is an valuable valuable lesson in that story it's it's one of those ones where you go you know what i can't give up because i actually am stuck in an emotional state right now and i'm feeling all the pressure and i'm probably not thinking straight they always say don't make a decision a final decision when you are in an emotional state. And it's so true. If you are triggered in, in an emotional state, don't make the decision. Don't push the button. Don't sign the contract because you will inevitably be reacting and you may not have thought the process through, which is why when I drive home, I'm like, ah, oh, that was a really hard day and I totally wanted to quit everything. But now I know the system better. But now I understand that this, this ABCD actually follows with you know, you get to understand that there's always a method. There's a method in the madness. There's uh, a rhyme to the reason, all that sort of stuff. You know, there's always a reason why you are where you are. And it's usually the uncomfortable last little niggly bit before you go out the other side. And it's like, oh, cool. Now I've got a new foundation, a solid base for me to move forward, a solid base for me to up level, a solid base for me to be like, yo world, I got this. I'm not going anywhere. I've got this. I'm rising to the occasion and y'all can flip the bird to all the naysayers, all the stuff, all the things that don't work for you anymore, all the things that you're leaving behind that were the little version of you so you can rise up, crack a shell and swim away. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that because I didn't want to burk on for too long. But I hope that really helps a couple of you to understand there are days when you will want to fire yourself and that's okay because you can fire yourself recuperate and start again tomorrow. You get to be your own dictator. You get to be your own inspiration. And remember that when you don't have it all yourself, there's people like me here that we can give you some of our inspiration, some of our beliefs, some of our motivation. One of the greatest sayings I heard over the weekend at the Freedom Festival was, 
if you don't have enough belief in yourself, if you don't have enough love in yourself, if you don't understand or believe or have the skills, then borrow it from us. Borrow it from me. Borrow it from the beautiful people that you have in your life. Borrow it until you have enough space within yourself to fully believe it for yourself. So it's not fake it till you make it. It's borrow the belief, the passion and the love because there's so much to go around. Love you all guys. I'll leave you with that.